I have some salt on this spoon, this hammer and this small camphor tablet. I'll take this piece of paper, place all this salt on it, add the camphor tablet and crush all of them together just like this. Okay, so we see we see a white powder now. Now if I ask you to separate the camphor from the salt, will you be able to do so? Well, it will be really difficult, right? Because camphor is white and it's been completely crushed. Salt is also white. So how do we separate? How do we separate one solid that is camphor from another solid that is salt? Well, for this, we'll try and heat up this mixture. So to start with, we will switch on the flame and keep a steel plate on top of this, on top of this steel grid. And then on top of the plate, I will place the mixture and on top of that, I will keep a glass. I will invert a glass and keep it. So let's see what happens. Well, we are seeing this white smoke inside the glass, right? Turns out these are the vapors of camphor. Camphor directly changes from solid to gas and that process is called sublimation. So we started off with camphor in salt in the solid state. Now we have camphor, some of the camphor in its vapor state and salt is still solid. So now if we take away the glass, we will have to be very careful here. We can let the glass cool for some time. And when we do that, notice what happens. We see this white substance being deposited on the walls of the glass, right? What is that? Well, that's camphor. Camphor vaporized and once the glass was allowed to cool, the camphor turned back into solid state. And we can see camphor being deposited on the walls. Just, just have a look at this. This is camphor. If we look at the plate again, we will see, we will see the salt present. And there will be some camphor as well because we did not let all the camphor change to vapor. So from the process of sublimation, we were able to separate camphor from salt, a mixture of camphor and salt. Camphor turned directly from solid to vapor, that's called sublimation. And once it came into contact with the walls of the glass, and the walls of the glass were given some time to cool, camphor changed back to solid form. And that is what we see on the walls of the glass. This is quite cool. Now you must have used naphthalene balls, right? Naphthalene balls are used between clothes to repel moths and other insects that can damage fabrics. And naphthalene balls, they directly turn to gas, just like camphor. And when they do change to gas, that gaseous form of naphthalene is toxic to insects. And this gas spreads throughout the surrounding area, creating like a protective barrier around the clothes. So this shows that science is really all around us. Even in the simple things we use every day like naphthalene balls. It's amazing how the process of sublimation can be, can be used to protect our clothes from insects. Science truly is awesome and can help us solve everyday problems in innovative ways.